So we're on the roof of the Hippo building, looking at our 35 kilowatt solar array. Um, we thought it would be good to show you folks what's things you can't normally see when you're at the zoo. This is a big part of our sustainability efforts is solar uh, in general. You've all seen our array in the parking lot, but we have several arrays like this on our buildings. This array is important uh, because hippo exhibits are extremely energy intensive and water intensive. And by making investments like this, that lowers that cost. Of course, it cleans up the air by using cleaner energy. Um, and it's good for wildlife as well. So we have a lot of these systems around the zoo. And one of the things we do on a real time basis is we are able to monitor and manage all of these systems from our iPads and our iPhones. That way, if there's a problem, we can address it immediately and to make sure that they are producing as much power as they should be producing. On a beautiful day like today, um, we'll be actually producing more power than we use. Um, it's especially important in this uh, COVID crisis right now. Obviously, we don't have a lot of money coming in and we have a lot of money going out. And utilities is our third biggest cost here at the zoo. Because of the fact that we've reduced our energy usage by about a third in the last month or so, and then when you couple in these arrays, more than half of our power is being, the needs are being met by solar arrays right now, which is pretty neat. In addition to solar, um, water usage is a huge issue for us here at the zoo. So Fiona here, um, her pool, which is 65,000 gallons of water, is 100% rainwater. We filter it after we collect it to make sure it's uh, extra clean. For us, our water bills on this particular exhibit are zero. This hippo exhibit is one example of between the solar rays the rain tank collection system and a lot of other things behind the scenes uh, that people never see. For us, it's a mix of doing it for conservation and, um, and sustainability uh, reasons, but also financially. It's got a pencil out and it's about resiliency. And during these moments like this, this unprecedented moments, uh, I sure am glad we made the investment we did a long time ago because now it's paying for itself. And also, uh, these types of efforts is an example of how we're getting towards our net zero by 2025, um, our goal there. So every building like this, significant building, will have uh, arrays on it. We will continue with those investments um, and we will continue capturing more rainwater um, to reduce our water usage even further with the goal that, again, by 2025, net zero water, net zero waste, net zero energy. Um, it's a big goal, but we're on our way.